Hi guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode one of a brand new series called Improving Irish Football. Now, in this series, we're going to be improving Irish football, believe it or not. I'm going to take Shamrock Rovers plus the Irish national team, and yeah, I'm just going to try and make them world beaters. Uh, I've done a save just with Shamrock Rovers before, that's why I'm choosing them, and also because I kind of like them. Um, and they're green, which goes with the Irish thing. But, um, yeah, and I really like them. I got them to the Champions League group stage uh, where we lost 14 0 to Manchester United, which wasn't the best of matches. But yeah, I think I can do even better this time, perhaps even win the Champions League in 20 years' time or whatever. But yeah, so we're going to be taking Shamrock Rovers. Um, now, Ireland, as probably quite a lot of you will know, uh, are obviously a good national team. They're the second best in the UK or the British Isles or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, they recently got to the Euros, which was really good. Um, but yeah, in their league, their national league is so bad. Um, I'm gonna go with bad. Uh, it is not yeah up to the standards of their national team. I'd say it's it's like it's like I think in like the UEFA coefficient or whatever, it's like 40th in out of like 50. I think 54 countries now Gibraltar have joined. Yeah, I think it's 54. So yeah, they're very, quite low down comparing to their nation, which would be like 11th or 12th or something like that in the national team. So, Shamrock Rovers. Uh, for quite a long time, have been the best league, but uh, in, well, actually, they haven't been the best in the league. I thought they had been, but apparently not. So yeah, uh, I've started watching them probably around this time, so I thought they were the best team since like ages but yeah no recently they haven't been doing as well Sligo and St Patrick's Athletic have been leapfrogging them they're predicted to finish first which is fair enough so yeah as you see Sligo and St Patty's are up there who else uh Dundalk up there third and Cork yeah Cork would predict to finish second but I'm going to be taking Shamrock Rovers um recently they sold perhaps their best player ever who is Gary Twig I think he plays with Porter Down. is Porter Down Striker. Uh, just to show you the leagues that I've got, um, there. Uh, I've just yeah, set up them. Uh, it's pretty much just all countries in and around Ireland. I might add Iceland. Do they have Iceland on the game? I don't even know if they have Iceland. They do have Iceland on the game. I'm going to Pepsi Dead and obviously that, that'll be uh, at the end of the year. But yeah, these are just a couple of nations that will be in and around Ireland we could make signings for. Um, so yeah, confirm those changes. So yeah, Gary Twig. I might, I might like to sign him back. I don't know in the first transfer window. Uh, but I'm going to take Shamrock Rovers. Their estimated value two point three million. Adequate training, adequate youth facilities. Telag Stadium, which is a Telag is a area of Dublin. Um, seven five that uh, seven point five uh, thousand all seater, uh, which is good. They're called the Ho Hoops. They're professional now. Oh, they weren't professional back in 2012 when I took them. I had to make them profession prof uh, professional. <laughs> Uh, let's see if, yeah, Cork are professional. Yeah, see some teams like, yeah, UCD are semi. Uh, who's that? Limerick are semi. So, Drogheda. And obviously, Bohemians, Bray, and Athlone Town, who are predicted to finish last. Um, so, yeah. Just look at this. Oh, I swear there's more than that. Huh, our youth team is in the thing. Anyway, what I was going to say is. Um, not only will I be managing the Irish national team, I'll be managing the under-21s and stuff. I think you can do that with national teams, I'm not sure. But no, I'm not taking them, I'm taking... I, I might do Shamrock Rovers B as well, because that might be quite fun, because they're in the proper league. Um, so I'll go up... Ooh. Where are we? There we are. So yeah, uh, now that I've introduced it, I'll just do the national team, Ireland. Next one do a style. Uh, I should just do the suggest on... Soon. So professional footballer, continental art, a like really? That doesn't sound right for Shamrock Rovers. Obviously it's not continental pro. Yeah, maybe, I, I'm not really sure how it really works, but I can always study for my continental pro and make it a, a bit easier. So, um, in terms of tactical tracksuit, I always like to say I'm a bit more tactical because I like my signings. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Is there one in between that? So yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, I put player knowledge up. Well, no, you don't really. Doesn't matter about your player knowledge, do, does it? Because you can't. You're not really the one who scouts them, so I'll, I'll move that down a bit. I'll go down to seven each. Uh, man management, I'll put up and motivating. 
level of discipline doesn't really make a difference because I can just I'm gonna put that out of seven as well. Uh, determination, adaptability, say motivation again. Really? <laughs> uh, no, I'll put that down and I'll put that one up. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with in terms of this area. Um, I guess I could put defending down. I'll put fitness down because I'll have a fitness coach. Um, we'll put attacking up. Put goal for me down a bit. Tactical, I want up. Technical, I want up. Mental, sure. Working with youngsters. So yeah, that'll do. Points left. Okay, yeah. That, okay, so yeah, there are the things I'm gonna do. Confirm that. Save it as Shamrock Rovers. Just see a couple of other saves that I'm doing now. Uh, that Rangers one. I'm probably not gonna carry on with that as a series, so I'm just gonna delete that. Um, Ultimate Journey man, that was one I was gonna do. I'm at Yangzhou in China. Uh, that was the one I was doing on uh, Sorters Out, Sort it, Sort it Out SI. I was doing a thing on there, but yeah, I've stopped that now. <laughs> Tottenham, I put I put them in uh, Division Six of England. But yeah, anyway, that is neither here nor, neither here nor there. So I'm gonna call it Shem. I call it Irish. saving um so yeah in the first season i'm gonna try and win the title of course and really the main point because it looks like we're gonna win the title every year to be honest uh, or at least after a couple of seasons but the point is to obviously do on the national team as well and to do one in europe that'll be our main focus so i'll probably be bringing you every competitive uh europe game well uh, yeah hopefully um and then yeah just once we get knocked out of europe um It'll probably just be more about the league. So, are we in Europe in the first season? Uh, I know we're in like January, so it would have been in the knockout stages. So I doubt that. Sorry, that's my phone going off. I'll turn that on silent. Uh, so yeah, back to what I was talking about Europe. So I think we will. Yeah, we're out of Europe. I don't know whether we're in it though. Uh, you can't go back. Um, so I'm guessing we were in Europe at the start. Uh, probably the Europa League because we didn't do that well last se season. Uh, we probably didn't win any of the cups either. So yeah, in terms of cups, um, obviously there's the Premier Division, uh, there's eSports Cup, which is basically the League Cup, I think. I think it's the League Cup competition, and then obviously the FAA Four Cup, which I think is just the normal Irish Cup. So yeah, the FAA FIA Cup. Uh, if I go there, will that be further down? Yeah. So I'm guessing that's how it is. And the Electricity Premier Division is obviously the league. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go on Ireland. Um, staff responsibility, that's what I want to go on. So, B team, can I manage it? Yeah, actually, no, I'm not going to do B team, I'm going to do the under 21. Uh, there have to be. Oh, that's annoying. Can I sack them and then do their job? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'll play around with that a bit. Uh, Sharon Rose, though, I definitely want to be the B team because they're um, in the league below us. So, where are we? Staff, responsibilities, B team. Yay! I'll be. I'll leave the end of the 19s. So, yeah, I'll have a play around with the national team, see if I can do that. I'll confirm those changes. Uh, let's just do this. So, yeah, we take charge. Woo! Do the meetings quickly. I pretty much know these off by heart by now. Uh, yeah. Fine. Don't feel meetings required. Yeah, why not? Thanks. No, I hate them. I think I've made that very clear before in previous saves that I hate the intra squad friendly. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's be good. Fortnightly friendlies. Okay, control of them. Done. Done. Okay, so yeah, I just make them do the friendlies. I can't be asked. Um, if I'm honest, so yeah, news descriptions. We were also Irish manager. Oh, what's our expectations? Oh, okay. When we next, when the next competition is confirmed, did we get our ones to them? No, I doubt we did. Um, so yeah, news descriptions. I'll just go whatever. Meet the players. So let's hold the team meeting. Hey, I'm the new Shamrock Rovers manager. I look forward to working with a lesser-known manager who can bring new ideas into the side. Thank you. Uh, we can win the title. 
is that sort of reaction we're over. So yeah, hopefully they get good. <laughs> you said you were aware. Oh yeah, I was just asking the captain how the morale. So yeah, they're, they're pretty happy. Gonna meet the media. Do you feel the expectations asked? I say yeah, that's club. Yeah. I'm just gonna pretty much go through this, <laughs> read it as quick as possible. Skin. So yeah, pretty much got through that. If you wanted to read that, you can pause. I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing you've done that before. It's pretty much the same question. So yeah, let's meet our things. Why not? We'll just. Oh, Keith Farhi. We have Keith Farhi. That's sick. I didn't even know who you play for him. Uh, he's obviously. Um, for those of you that don't know. I might as well pro promote this guy. Um, for those of you who don't know, he is um, a like Irish kind of. I wouldn't say legend, but he's been there for quite a long time. So yeah, he's pretty good. First guy report: Hogan Ephraim looks good, like him. He's played for QPR, am I? Yes. Uh, oh, he's been at Peterborough. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, so this is where I'm gonna round off the episode, guys. Which is the start at one. Hope you guys are in gonna enjoy this series. Hopefully, I'll get get a few more views than my animal one. My animal one, I know it doesn't get them as much views at all, to be honest. But I really, really like doing it, so I'm just gonna carry on with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is where it's gonna be the end. Um, I shall join you. Ooh, what should I do? I'll probably just join you halfway through the season. So it's February to November, so it's half of that. It's like six. So yeah, I'll probably be. I'll, I'll do probably. I'll do the FAA. No, I'll do the Derry City game. I'll do the Derry City game going into the summer break. It'll pretty much be halfway through the season. I think it actually will be exactly halfway through the season. So yeah, we can round up on the first half of the season. See how we're doing in the cups, maybe. And yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Uh, if you liked it, give it a like. Uh, if you have any questions, comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I've been the FM Gaffer. And I'll see you guys next time.